A Stitch in Time Saved Mine was written by Dr. Fulham. You can find it on the SCP Wiki in a link in the description below. It is under a Creative Commons 3.0 Sharealike Attribution License. In the end, we ran out of time. I floated. Well, no, I suppose that's not quite right. Well, that would imply I was actually somewhere or some when. I simply was. Space was gone. Time had no meaning anymore. It was just me. Was this what God had felt when he created the universe? This impossible, unlimited loneliness? This suffocating individuality? I'd say I don't know how long it lasted, but again, that would mean that time had actually passed. It was both an instant and an eternity. And all I could say is that at one point I didn't feel these connections, and then at another point I did. And suddenly the blackness around me exploded into an infinite string of colors and possibilities. But once there had been darkness... Now there was nothing but life and time. Threads of brilliant material swirling and in infinite reached out to me, wrapped around my fingers. I could feel the possibility like a heartbeat within each of them. And I felt an unconquerable ache to return to my own time. But that's... That's impossible. My time is gone, never to be recovered. But clearly some higher power had seen fit to grace me with a second chance. And in but an instant, I had gone from out of time to having access to more time than I could possibly fathom. And it was time to get to work. Thread by thread, stitch by stitch, second by second. I began to create. Frayed ends of timelines cut off before their due became the beginnings of a new time. A new world. My new world. I would ensure that nobody would suffer what I had suffered. That unfathomable loneliness. Orphaned threads of time were brought together into a beautiful tapestry woven into possibilities for their inhabitants who would otherwise have been left in the eternal void. So I worked. I toiled endlessly, weaving, and stitching, and binding, and crossing, and hemming, and I was determined to leave no thread apart from the others. To even try to explain to you how difficult it was would be pointless. You'd have to be me to come close to understanding it, and that's a hell I wouldn't wish on my worst enemy. But I refused to stop, refused to rest, and I damn sure refused to fail anyone else's timeline as I had so thoroughly failed my own. I was a scientist once, before I became the Weaver. Back when I had a time to call my own, I was part of a, a team of theoretical physicists and mathematicians studying the flow of time how it could be explored and altered. We were the first to discover tachyons, those uh, tiny little particles of time itself. Pure temporal energy expressed as a nearly microscopic black dot in the fabric of time. We called them time flies because of the way they seemed to flit around in space as we watched them. And after years of study and observation, we were able to create a machine that harnessed the power of tachyons in order to allow us to move around within our own timeline with no limitations. Time travel. Real time travel. Something that had been firmly in the realm of science fiction for decades had finally become fact. But sometimes, fiction should stay fiction. We traveled back in time. Originally, just to learn. We studied dinosaurs. We witnessed the births and deaths of supposed prophets. We saw the rise and fall of countless empires. 
We collected a wealth of information about the history of our reality. More than anyone could ever dream of, but eventually, learning about it wasn't enough anymore. We made the single greatest mistake, the one that all the fiction about time travel had cautioned us against. We meddled. We altered our own history, thinking that the effects on the present and future could only be positive. We thought we'd considered all the possible outcomes, accounted for all the alterations we'd make, but we went too far, changed too much. And after I made one seemingly trivial alteration, I returned to the present and I saw just how much had changed. I saw revolutions that were far outside of the history I knew. I saw technology that we'd never dreamt of. I saw war and famine and death. I saw weapons made with unfathomable technology that tore reality apart at the seams. I saw the end. And when I returned, there was no present left to return to. Only the impossible void. But despite all of our mistakes, I was gifted with this second chance. A chance to redeem myself. I'll do everything in my considerable power to ensure that nothing like this happens in my new timeline. I'm going to start over. And I'm going to do it right this time. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit the subscribe button and then hit the notification bell next to that so you're notified when I upload new videos. And then head on over to patreon.com forward slash dsumerian and pledge at any level like everybody here on the screen already has, including Sinjariki, who is pledged at $100. It is nice to know that I'm not alone out here. And I will see you all again on Thursday.